I know what you guys are thinking. I had time today, boy. Listen, I've been in bed all day nursing a toothache. Can, can barely open my mouth because of the whole torture here. So I've just been in bed all day nursing the pain. And whilst I was doing that, I was watching a video about Alonzo Harris, um, a character played by Denzel Washington in Training Day. And it was basically an analysis of evil by um, a YouTuber called Violet. If you've got the chance, check that out. It, it's a really good series. A really good channel. It's, it's wonderfully done a lot of his essays. So, um, I was thinking about why Alonzo Harris has so much power and he's so good at what he does and it gets me to thinking about a lot of narcissists that I have come into contact with and a lot of narcissistic abusers the thing that we have to understand is this narcissistic people understand want or desire better than anyone I'm going to say that again narcissistic people understand desire and ego better than anyone when they look at people and they look at the way we work they know what we want better than better than we know ourselves that's why they always know what to say they always know how to approach us they always know how to charm us how to this that and the third right they know how to manipulate us they know how to dangle a carrot in order to get us to do what they want us to do because who would know better what wanting is all about than a narcissist? Really think about it. A narcissist, if they ever make sacrifices in their lives, they usually only make them passively. They usually only make it, you know, passively or entirely in service of their own egos. Yeah. So who would know better about what the rest of us want than a narcissist? And that's exactly how they get us. They know what we want. The first rule in business, the first rule in anything in life is to understand what the other person wants and to not only understand it, but to understand it better than they do so that you can stay one step ahead of them. At the same time, a narcissist Achilles heel, which was Alonzo's Achilles heel in the end, spoiler alert, sorry, um, the Achilles heel that every narcissist has is that they know want better than anyone, but they don't know what people are able to sacrifice. And that's exactly why certain people will always have one up on a narcissist. It's because narcissists, like I said before, they're all about their ego. True sacrifice means sacrificing the whims of your ego and narcissists are never willing to do that they're never willing to sacrifice their ego's desires for one second so every interaction that they have with people is a means to an end everything they do has a means to an end they're not willing to sacrifice anything except when they are forced to or when it does their ego some good because they're addicted to the power that knowing what other people want gives them they don't know about self-sacrifice. So if somebody does something, say a narcissist has you in a corner. I've, I've had experiences like this with narcissists before, right? Say both of you have done something you're not supposed to be doing and it's a clash of who has evidence against whom. The narcissist is thinking that you're going to do whatever you want. You're, the narcissist is thinking that you're going to do whatever it takes to protect yourself or to save your own ego, or to this, that, and the third. They're thinking that you're going to do that because that's what they do. Everything is for the ego. So they're expecting you to do that. What they're not banking on, and this has happened to me numerous times, is you telling the truth. Even if you don't get anything out of it, you're going to tell the truth. They're not going to expect that. And if they do expect that, they make sure to keep their manipulations and their machinations more subtle from then on because they don't want to risk getting exposed and they don't want to risk losing their ego's whims, the whims of their ego. A narcissist will never ever see what you're willing to sacrifice for, you know, what 
they will never see what your ego is willing to sacrifice because their egos are not willing to sacrifice shit. They're always going to be caught off guard by that. Because if all you know in your life is want, then how are you going to be prepared for when the person you're trying to manipulate goes completely out of left turn and does something quote unquote noble? How are you going to catch that? <laughs> so somebody like Alonzo Harris, as confident as he is, as intelligent as he is, because he's a narcissist, there are certain things that he's not going to see coming because he is entirely focused on his own desires and his own wants. And unfortunately, that's an affliction of a lot of people in power. All they see is what they want. So when they do lose something or when they do have to give something up, it's usually out of their control and it's usually something big. Now, because they know the secrets of how alchemy works, there are ways in which they try to avoid that and there are ways in which they try to prepare for that. Okay, cool. But when you're powerful and the more powerful you become is the more you become drunk on it rather than being responsible with it. Um, you do end up sacrificing something because we all have to sacrifice shit in the end, right? We all have to sacrifice shit in the end. So the more powerful you become is the more you lose sight of uh, what needs to be sacrificed, what needs to be given up from your own ego in order to preserve what you have. So yeah, you end up being caught off guard by people who behave in ways that you did not prepare for and you couldn't prepare for. I do believe with my whole heart that man is fundamentally selfish because without that, we couldn't have the society that we have. This is a world that's built on desire, not knowledge. This is a world that's built on self-assertion and not self-denial. At the same time, there are people out there who operate more on self-denial than the average person. And that's the type of pe that's the type of person that the narcissist never sees coming, never will see coming. No matter how much they plan a scheme, no matter how much they try to get one over on you, there is just something that they're just never going to see coming. Because their mind isn't focused on that. Their mind is focused on gain and nothing but gain. So, yeah, that's that's the whole time I was thinking, like, as I'm watching this video, because I've seen Training Day before, I'm watching it being broken down the way it was, it made me think, yeah, yeah, you can see, you can see the machinations and how these people, you can see it, but it's like, the narcissist never prepares, what never, never, like, what they're thinking is a victory, they don't understand what the other person is willing to give up for their peace of mind, to give up what their egos are willing to sacrifice, not hold on to, they never see that coming, they never see that coming, that always fucks up their plans, one way or the other, so that was just my quick thought, it wasn't as quick as I wanted it to be, but fuck it. It is very interesting. If you get a chance, check out Violi. Check out um, Analyzing Evil, Alonzo Harris and Denzel Washington. I don't know what it is with Denzel Washington and these roles that he's in. He's a superlative actor. And then on top of that, oof. Okay, so <laughs> that's all I'm going to say on that one. Thank you guys for joining me. Love you guys. Bye-bye.